good everybody your boys pulling up starting to vlog out on Melrose I'm out here fire kicks How are you all doing? You're young good. mocha in it thing you know what I'm saying this is post engagement vibes right now the party was lit I just posted the vlog shout out to everybody who watched and watched and supported it you know we out here though getting back on the daily grind it's actually really really foggy out here in LA, but um, the we vibes are good. We're gonna cash out today. Gonna, it's a cash out type of day. It's a cash out type of day. Hello, bank <laughs> account. So I'll show you what I'm Increase the limit. Damn, we're gonna see how much we could get for these Jordans, right? Yeah, probably like 60 bucks, 60, 70. I'll take a hundo. I like that. All right, but anyway, yeah, we're just on Melrose. Nothing planned, but hopefully we could sell those. Maybe we'll do a challenge. Let's see how much we could. 120 for 100 cash, but 124 Key Master credit. Yeah. And then we're gonna use all that money on the key master. Yeah, shout out to the construction team. Halloween. Halloween. Halloween's around the corner. Your boy ain't doing nothing for Halloween. Oh, I might go to the game actually. I think I'm gonna go to the Warriors game. Warriors Clippers. Boy, we might have extra tickets, so I'll let you know. Oh, hell yeah. Stay tuned. All right, let's go to Cool Kicks first. I said we need this for the key master, fam, because, you know, we're gonna see what Mook can do. You know what I'm saying? Mook yeah. don't play. Hold on, let me put the camera down. Put the camera down. Oh, sh so you guys do I got you. I guess I said I'm not on camera. Because he's the homie. Yeah. 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 It's a plug talk. We eating good today, fam. We eating real good today. We're going straight to the key, well, That's if we win. Let's see. We, we are. We are. Let's see. All right, let's see what machine is hot right now. Oh, my, oh my God. Yeah. It's inspired by the brown bag. All right, guys. So no cops. Oh, Mocha got some sneakers. Should I show them? Nah, nah. It's, let, let them see it on the gram. You know you're what I'm right, saying? You're right. Follow man's on the gram. But yeah, now we're going to hit up round two, two. Melrose is popping today. Good vibes, like I said. But no Keymaster W. A little disappointing, but you know, some sometimes you win, sometimes sometimes you lose some. You know what I'm saying? So see, this, the, people get mad. You don't see how many times you lose, but when you win, they say it's rigged. Yeah, exactly. Like you, you've well, you've lost more money losing than winning. Yeah, I mean, it's to. pretty known how the key master works these days. I mean, you know what I'm saying? We saw a couple people talk about it yesterday. Yeah. Blake Wynn pretty much explained the whole thing in his vlog. So there's nothing to hide. But at the end of the day, there are winners. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There are winners. There's people who literally go put five bucks in that machine and they win. And then there's people who put a, a, a hundred bucks and they don't win or they win. It does. It's it's about timing. It's about you know, like luck, you, you know, you. luck. You know what I'm saying? It's like gambling. It's like Vegas. It's like the slot machines. You know what I'm saying? But we took an L today. I haven't won in like a year, to be honest with you guys. But you know, it might still take a W on Melrose. So we gotta go to round two and see what they have. I want to see those Jordan ones that came out a couple days ago. Um, it's a collab with a female. I forgot her name. Hi. Yo, what up? Can I take a picture? Yeah, let's do it. What is it? Exile scar. Oh, I don't know. I can't wait. What else do you have? Just like. Some vintage or vintage gas in this. Yo, what up? What up? How you doing? Hello, baby. Good. How are you, man? It's good, baby. How you doing? Man, you know, round two, checking in with the man himself, Mr. Manny. Yup. You know how it goes, bro. Guys, if you haven't seen it, we made a skit like a year and a half ago in the movie theater. In the movie theater. I'll insert a clip right here. Where you trying to sit, bud? Oh my god. Oh my god. Sadaf! Sadaf! You still coming over after? Or... Nothing? Well, I haven't seen my man in a minute, bro. How you been? You good? I'm good, man. Yeah. I'm seeing you. I'm seeing what's yeah, going on know, with man. the Dream Crew and how that's you moving. See how it kind of like. I know. It, is, it, it ain't kind of. Yeah. It ain't kind of. <laughs> it ain't kind of bro. <laughs> That boy got on the merch though. Oh, that boy nice. got on the merch though. Can you get a picture? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh my god. Can I touch it? Alright, so no cops around two either. But I think we're gonna hit up Fairfax. Check out a few stores over there too and then come, I don't know, I don't know, maybe see what else, but still no W's. But it's okay, you, you gotta take it out every everyone. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. When me and Mina have a kid, we get in her. We get in this, bro. A thousand percent, we get in this right here. That's so lit. Yeah. 
Damn. Ooh. Wow, that's not bad at all. Fire Steph. cake's not verified. This is that fufu. We don't mess with this. Fire cake doesn't verify this Wait. at all. This is <laughs> on Fairfax. This sign says it's a rep, so I mean, yeah, it's not like he's trying to fool people. people yeah. He's, he's not trying to fool people, though. Yeah, he's not trying to fool people. Man's just selling fake, fake Yeezys on, on Fairfax, but like it said, fakes, reps, so at least he's telling people, so that's just weird. But the vibes are weird today. All right, guys, man, I don't, I don't know if y'all can see how beautiful this sky is, but I haven't seen a sky this beautiful in LA in a very, very long time. It, give, it got them Texas vibes so to it. So beautiful, so beautiful. Texas Stay tuned vibe. on the IG post. Yeah, stay, stay tuned. tuned on the IG post. <laughs> Let me tell you guys this, you know, I've been saying it all day, L's not getting anything. Just cause you don't, if you go window shopping, it doesn't mean you're taking an L, you know what I'm saying? You just picky. You just picky. You, you know, know what, what you saying? want, cause you have you're so making many. making smarter decisions and you're saving money, so you're taking a W at the end of the day. All right guys, so we are back at the crib right now. We just got done playing some 2K. And now we're gonna actually go hoop. I'm not gonna take this camera, I'm gonna take my GoPro, but I'm gonna finally play basketball in them Curry 4s, so I'm excited to finally test these out. I'll let you guys know how they feel because I've been, you know, praising these shoes and I, I get to finally test them out on court, so my whole opinion on the shoe might change today. So we'll see, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, and uh, y'all ready to ball? Let's get it, let's get it. Alright guys, so we just got done hooping. Well, we didn't just get done, but we were done we we're done hooping back at the crib, doing laundry, playing 2K, hanging out. Mocha's last night in town. Ahmed and Mocha have been just sleeping over. I feel like they're my roommates. We got a noise complaint by my apartment from the guy downstairs because apparently playing 2K at night. It was a little loud, but it's my first ever noise complaint, but I'm not gonna make it a big deal. Also, my shield t-shirt came in the mail from WWE, so just a side note, I unboxed that off camera. But main reason why I turned the camera on is because I just played basketball in these. As you guys know, Under Armour did send me these, the Curry 4s. This is the China edition. This is the first pair that I received. This is the first pair that I played basketball with. I'm not gonna get too into like technology and all that stuff, but I'm just gonna tell you guys the stuff that you really, really care about, which is, are they a good shoe? Right off the bat, the fit of the shoe is amazing. It goes right to your foot. You know, that sock-like upper is fantastic. There's no really ankle support on the upper. It's all right here. And it's, it's more about where your heel gets placed when your ankle lands and you roll it rather than this protecting it. Like you could use an ankle brace. And the reason why I trust that is just because Curry's had issue with ankle problems, but if he's willing to play in a shoe like this, then I don't see a risk in, I don't see myself taking too big of a risk playing in them either. So, and I play in low tops too, so I'm not too worried about that. I've rolled my ankle in high tops, I've rolled my ankle in low tops, I've rolled my ankle in freaking Air Force Ones before, so uh, it doesn't matter really to me what shoe you wear. Let's go over the pros and then we'll go over the cons. The pros are super comfortable, I didn't have any issues with comfort super low to the ground. I felt like I wasn't wearing really anything on my shoe, super, super light. There was no problem with my feet, you know, getting hot or, you know, sometimes when you wear a new shoe and your foot starts burning or, or, or super stiff, like what I did is I just, you know, kind of break it in before I try it on and play with it. Traction was A1, very good. Although it did pick up a lot of dust, that didn't seem to really affect the traction on the shoe. So that was good. I still want to clean it off just because it looks super ugly with all that. I don't know how the hell I got a little stain right there from playing basketball, but you know what, we'll clean that, right? Not only crap protect, but my collab. Gone. I could do that to the whole bottom, but I don't want to waste my time right now, honestly, but damn. Now let's go to the cons. And I have two complaints with this shoe. Toe area right here, which is just, you know, it's just, 
there's no, there's no like hard fuse to protect your toe or anything like that. And what happened with me is sometimes when I backpedal, my feet and my back of my foot on one foot ends up hitting the other foot, the outsole going straight to my toe because there's not too much protection in there. Um, so that kind of did hurt my toe. But other than that, like this whole upper area, I thought it was gonna be hard to break in, but it was super, super comfortable. So that was pretty good. And now my second complaint is one that I actually knew was gonna happen just because I watched Nightwing's review on the shoe and he said the same thing. The lacing system is great. Um, I had to relace my shoes after one play just cause my foot was kind of like sliding on the inside. But then after I laced it up the second time, perfectly fine. Obviously every basketball shoe, well, 95% of the basketball shoes, they get more comfortable after the first two, three wears. This area right here, this area right here was getting pinched. Um, I guess, I don't know what it was, but every time I kind of bent my foot, this fused area was rubbing against or getting pinched in between the lace and this area right here. So it was like pinching it on both feet. Kind of got irritating to the point where I was okay with not playing anymore and I just wanted to take the shoes off because it just felt it, like it started to sting but from what Nike, Nightwing said which I, I know what's going to happen as well is that's something that you're going to need to break in and it's going to go away after time. Now when I got home I looked at my, I'm not going to show you guys because I'm going to stick my foot in the air but I actually have a blister on that same spot on the top of my foot, which is weird because I've never had that issue before. But basically what I would suggest is to leave the lace area a little bit loose on this mid area so that it doesn't like fully, you know, keep your ankle tight in there so that it doesn't pinch against it. Again, you're going to have to break it in. It's not that big of a deal, but you know, it can get annoying and someone like myself, like I'm obviously not the best player in the world but it, it distracts you from you know being on top of your game. So I'm gonna give this an A minus, which is very, very good. That's like nine out of 10 stars. I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend this shoe to anybody who loves a lightweight basketball shoe that is super, super close to the ground very comfortable upper $120 for this shoe is worth it i'm gonna say that this is my favorite basketball shoe at the moment again shout out to under armor for sending me these um you know under armor has shown me a, a lot of love they lived up to their expectations that's they definitely lived up to their expectations and i definitely recommend them to all of you guys thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed hit that thumbs up we're gonna be back tomorrow with another video because uh we go into the warriors versus the clippers game my first game of the nba season tomorrow's vlog i'll probably talk to you guys about a few things that i have on my mind but we'll save that for tomorrow's vlog so stay tuned for that and also shout out to my boy money kicks because money kicks is going to be the first sneaker youtuber to reach 1 million subscribers, which is insane. My little brother, Money Kicks, is very, very proud of him. And um, I can't wait to see him again soon when we go to Dubai and create more dope content together. And um, if you haven't already, go subscribe to him because he's like, he's either hit it or he's like a thousand followers away from hitting it. So make sure you guys go show him love on social media and all that stuff because one thing I'll say, because I know a lot of people are gonna hate on it, saying this, 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 this. It doesn't matter if you have money, it doesn't matter about your age, what matters is the hustle. You gotta respect the hustle, whether you have the surroundings or not. If you're able to make it happen, you can make it happen. So lazy people are gonna hate and uh, you just gotta appreciate the success. So shout out to my boy Rashid, shout out to Money Kick, shout out to all you guys and we out of here, all right? Six seconds.